Hey everybody, it's Mickey, and in today's video, I'm going to share with you what's in my makeup bag. I have gotten several requests over the last few months to do a makeup tutorial. Now, although I appreciate your confidence in me, I don't know if I have what it takes to pull one of those off. So instead today, I'm going to share with you about 15 cosmetics that I use every day, that they are what I consider my essentials, I would not leave home without them, and these are the items that I depend on to put my face on every day. I have had a love affair with makeup since I was about 13 years old, and I bought my first CoverGirl Compact, you know the ones that used to smell like Noxzema. I was lucky enough to grow up in the 80s where pretty much everything was over the top, big hair, three different color eyeliners, major contouring. It was just a fun time to be a girl. So I can pretty much talk about makeup all day long. I will try not to be too chatty as we go through my favorites. I will leave some links and information on down below in case you want to try these products out for yourself. So before I put any makeup on, I like to use primers on my skin. Um, my two favorites are Photo Finish by Smashbox, which is a clear gel type primer that just gives a nice smooth surface to your skin. The other one that I like to use is by Tarte, and it is called Clean Slate. And this primer is more like a paste, which if you have, let's say, more mature skin like I do, and you have a few more things to cover, really does a great job in filling in those little pores and giving you a nice smooth surface. As far as foundations go, I use two every day. I apply them with a beauty blender, and my favorites are Simply Ageless by CoverGirl. I have tried a lot of high-end foundations, and I always come back to this. This is easily found at your drugstore or at Target. I am in the shade 240 Natural Beige, and I also use IT Cosmetics CC Plus Illuminizing Foundation. I am in the shade Light. I mix these two together and it's something about the combination. It's just a very good match for my skin tone and it stays put all day. I tend to have really dark circles under my eyes. It doesn't matter how much sleep I get. I think it's hereditary. And I like to use um, IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Illuminator. And I buy this in the shade Fair, which is a little bit lighter than my regular skin tone. I think it does a really great job to help conceal those dark circles. I really use it as a base that I build upon with some other products that I will share with you. So I have found as I've gotten older that my eyebrows become pretty much non-existent. I don't know if it was because of the over-tweezing back in the 80s, but um, I have to draw them in every day. And what I use is by L'Oreal and it's called um, Brow Stylus Definer. And it has a very fine point, which is really helpful to you know draw those individual hairs in and to make it look all nice and neat and like you have your own eyebrows. And so I have a particular weakness for eye palettes. I love to buy all those trending eyeshadow palettes that the beauty YouTubers always recommend. But I tend to always go back to my favorites and one of those favorites is by Clinique and it's called Pink Chocolate and I have used this for years. This is probably my third purchase of this palette. Very neutral colors. It goes well with my complexion and my eye color and you can make it as light or as intense as you want. I would not be a girl of the 80s without my mascara and my eyeliner. So my favorite eyeliner is always black never brown, never any other color, always black. And my favorite that I have been using lately is also by Clinique and it's called the Skinny Stick. This is a very fine tipped eyeliner. You can get in your waterline, your upper and lower waterline, and around your rim, however you want to line your eyes. As far as mascara goes, I have two favorites that I use every day. One is a drugstore brand and one is, I guess you would consider a little bit higher end. My drugstore brand is by Maybelline and it's called Colossal Volume. Um, my other favorite is Superhero by It Cosmetics. I find that these work really well in combination with each other to just help darken and volumize my eyelashes. For contouring and blush, I use two products by Laura Geller. Um, for contouring and bronzing, I use um, Bronze and Brighten. I love all the different swirls of color in there. So a nice semi-natural 
a bronze or contour to my face. I'm very fair skinned and I intend to keep my face out of the sun as much as possible and this really helps to give it a little bit of a natural glow, especially during the summer months. My favorite all-time blush is Tropical Hues by Laura Geller. I like this because I tend to gravitate more towards pinks and golds and this has a nice swirl of those colors already in there. And it also has a nice highlighting effect. So finally, once all my makeup is on, everything is set the way I want it to look, I use um, a setting spray by NYX called Matte Finish. I have used so many finishing sprays, high-end, low-end, and this one by NYX is by far my favorite. It does a great job. So there you have it. Those are 15 of my makeup favorites. If you are still looking for some makeup tutorials, I have a few YouTubers that I really enjoy watching. If you are someone about my age and you're looking for very simple, easy to follow makeup tutorials, there's a YouTuber by the name of Kristen Game. She is from Wisconsin and she has this series that she does called Four Looks, One Palette, where she takes one eye makeup palette and she does four completely different looks from it. She's very easy to follow. She does really great explanation and makeup swatches and she's just a very kind, sweet person to begin with. There's also Melissa from Honeybee Philosophy. She's an Arizona girl and she is truly, I would say, a makeup artist. She does wonderful tutorials. She gets so excited about the makeup that she uses and wears. She also does um, weekend vlogs um, with her mom that she lovingly refers to as Mama B and they are just so much fun to watch. They're truly one of my favorites. And if you are looking for someone who's just a little bit over the top and really, really fun to watch, there is a YouTuber by the name of Patrick Starr, and he can pretty much transform not only himself into pretty much any celebrity, but he does a lot of makeovers, and he's just a great personality and a sweetheart and fun to watch. So thank you so much for spending some time with me today, and I hope you leave me a comment down below and let me know what some of your makeup favorites are. Please follow me on Instagram at myvashfullife.com and don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you all as part of our YouTube family. So until I see you in that next video, I hope that you love the life that you have and I will see you again soon. Bye.